original Capra, the story was inspired by the mountain goat to be more agile uh, in many terrains. It's a super comfortable shoe. And you can fast hike, you can walk. In every project, you have to find this DNA. Uh, we had to, to go back and, you know, to make a nice evolution of what exists already. So this is the winter version of Capra. The basic inspiration was a shoe made for winter conditions, you know, able to attack and uh, conquer the natural elements. They want something that they can trust when you're doing your favorite sport during winter time, something that protects their feet, uh, that helps them to be confident on ice. When a challenging project comes along like this, there, there's no way anyone can solve it on their own. So we really had to take a deep scientific approach and made it really enjoyable for us nerds in the team. One thing we were really missing was the ice category. We were always really, really good on dry ice with our ice track compound, but what ice was always sort of this elusive thing that was extremely dangerous to customers and there really was nothing out there on the market. So our challenge was to bring a full rubber solution to that environment and have it perform highly. Vibram came in with this new technology and it was just fitting perfectly with the concept. It's our best wet ice technology we've ever developed, but until you step on it and try it, you're just fundamentally not gonna understand how much better it is than the stuff that's out there. You have kind of a, the ultimate uh, winter also, and the big difference is the Arctic grip in the middle, uh, and also the uh, ice trek rubber on the outside. We use our laboratory testing, we use in vivo testing, and then we have finally our field testing. We work with a, uh, a university who has this room that's basically can articulate at different sort of slopes. So they'll walk up and down and see at what point they slip. And finally, the most important thing we do is the field testing. So we were getting up to 250 miles on this material and seeing zero drop in performance. We tried to find some ways to show a special feature. So you have the thermochromatic lug here. It turns blue when the temperature drop under zero Celsius or 32 Fahrenheit. When the consumer can see and touch the technology, I think it, it's kind of an added value. It just talks to the consumer right away. You also have this TPU piece here with a, a strap lock for a snowshoeing. Since it's a boot that is made for fast snowshoeing, we did 200 grams insulation, which is a perfect amount. You don't want your foot to, to get overheated. I mean, it's a nice boot, but with the Arctic grip, it's just, uh, it brings it to another level. I think you need to try it to believe it. <laughs>
It's like wearing studded snow tires everywhere I go. And I can keep an eye on Murphy and my surroundings. It takes about 20 seconds to put them on, and even less to take them off. After a few minutes, you completely forget you're wearing them. They just work. On a day like this, I'm not sure who's happier to be outside, Murphy or us. The multi-directional cleats on the stabilizer walk allow you to stride naturally while providing secure traction on ice, snow, pavement, or gravel. They fit easily and securely over your own shoes or boots and fold small enough to keep in a pack, purse, or glove box. Proudly made in the USA. Stable, America's traction company. If you enjoyed our video, don't forget to hit the like button below. And if you want to see similar videos in the future, smash that subscribe button and make sure to turn the notification bell on. For now, that's all I've got. And in all that you do, we want to help you beat yesterday.